This is Michael Good from ReaperTrades.com with a video tutorial on how to use the alarm function in Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. To use the alarm, you'll right click on a stock and go to Information Tools and then Set Alarm. You can see it says F12 right here. That indicates that I set the hotkey F12 for this function because I don't want to go through the menu every time I want to use it. You can set a hotkey for just about any function or feature in Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation, and I encourage you to do that. So once I click here, it shows that I already set it, have an alarm set, and this is Rintec I'm showing you here. The alarm is set to go off if the bid goes below or hits 2.46. Now you can set an alarm based on the bid price, the ask price, or the last transaction price, and you can set it based on the stock price going below or above a certain trigger price. You can also set an alarm based on the volume going above a certain amount. And then you have the option to play a warning sound, uh, which I encourage, especially if you go away from your keyboard or just look away or get distracted, you can easily miss the alert otherwise. Uh, and then also uh, you can preserve the alarm between sessions if you want. If you're watching a stock for multiple days for a breakout or breakdown, then choosing this option will allow the stock to uh, be alerted without having to uh, re-enter the uh, alarm every single day. If you don't choose this, then the alarm will disappear at the end of the day. So, you can, I'm going to close this. Uh, you can see, because I have the alert set based on the bid here, that that column is highlighted for Rintec. So that way you can just look at throughout your whole trader's workstation and see any stocks you have alarms set for. I'm going to set an alarm for, let's do uh, Navi here. So again, right click, information tools, set alarm. I'm going to set an alarm based on the volume just to show you what it looks like when the volume goes off or when the alarm goes off. So the next trade should set this alarm off and it's set to go off when it when it hits 243,900 shares. So as to the benefits of doing alarms, my trading system or probably any trading system relies upon uh, looking at a certain number of stocks and then buying or selling them based on their price action. So if a stock shows strength, you want to buy it. If a stock shows weakness, you want to sell it basically. And you're going to do that based on certain trigger prices. I like using green-red or red-green. So when a stock is negative on the day and then goes positive or vice versa, that's a good uh, trigger price. Uh, also, you have support resistance that you can look up yourself through uh, charts on different time frames. Uh, and this way, if you set alarms, you can watch a number of stocks, and even if you get distracted, even if you have a number of different pages here, if you set an alarm off on one page, let's say I'm over here looking at my greater than 10 day rangers, and I don't actually have anything here, but if an alarm goes off on a different page, even while I'm not looking on it, that page tab will be red, and if I have the sound set, it will be uh, I'll still hear the alarm sound. So especially for those of you that are uh, part-time traders or if you're just easily distracted like I am and have a hard time paying attention to more than one or two stocks, set alarms for all the stocks you're watching that you might w possibly want to trade and that way you won't miss them when they make key breakouts or breakdowns. And of course, it seems like I chose the one stock that's not trading at all to uh, uh, set my alarm based on. I'll try setting alarm for SPDE too, just to, okay, didn't have to do that. So that annoying sound indicates the alarm is going off, and also you have the flashing light. If I were on a different page, you'd see the page tab highlighted and blinking. And then once you click on the stock, the alarm goes away. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for your time.